Yo, what's good, YouTube gang? I'm Jay Pats, and today I have a question for you. So if you ever been making a beat or melody and you're like, okay, I have the same VSTs as the pros or people that I watch, but just doesn't sound as good. Well, I'm gonna show you today how to get your VSTs to sound like the pros and just sound a whole lot better. And honestly, most of the time you could fix that just with some simple processing techniques, but obviously if you aren't aware of them, you're not gonna know to do them. So here are a couple things that I like to do to get my VSTs to sound better. First, we're gonna start with like a basic VST that I'm sure everyone on here knows about, and it's the Noir Felt from Contact. It's a great piano, sounds really good. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna just play something real simple. It's probably gonna sound bad, but I'll show you how the effects can completely change how that sounds. The first thing you could do is just adjust the timing. I don't like having my melodies or samples that I make fully on just because it adds some character to it. The next thing you could do that's also super important is messing with the velocities and just not having them be perfect the whole time. So a little bit varying and I also generally don't like how piano VST sound playing in like the very high velocities like up here. So I always like to bring that down. You could always add volume back later. So now starting with the actual effects processing. Usually I like to start with an EQ, so I'm just removing some frequencies that I don't like or that I want to remove just to add more character. I'm just using EQ8 from Ableton, just a stock EQ. Just taking out some low end and some high end. Next, I'm adding a preamp, which is pretty much just what they used to run equipment through back in the day. So it kind of just adds some volume, some compression, and I just chose this preset called Thick. And then obviously all these effects are optional. You don't need to use these exact ones. There's multiple different types of VSTs to emulate these certain things. So the next thing I did was make it mono, which is just a stock plugin again from Ableton under the utilities. And now this is how it sounds. After that, I like to start adding some effects. So kind of just to alter the sound. So one thing I really like is thermal. And this kind of just has like some cool distortions and some cool textures you could add to your sound. So here's with it. So already getting somewhere unique, you know, and I also have the wet, what's it on? It's only on like 4%, so super low. After that, I added Portal, another effect plugin, which just adds like cool textures. That one's not doing as much, but you can still kind of hear it. Here's one that could bring you really cool, just different effects and sounds, and this is Guitar Rig. You could even use Guitar Rig 5 or an older one if you have that. But yeah, this just has cool presets and you could get really experimental, or if you just want to make your sound sound like a guitar, you could also easily achieve that with this plugin. And for me, I turned the mix super low on these, and this is how it sounds with that. So just a cool different texture. I'm not gonna add that one to this effect chain, but it's always there as an option. Next, I like to do some sort of tape processing. So this is actually a free plugin from Isotope. Pretty basic vinyl sound processor that will just add a little bit of wobble to your sound or somewhere. So I just put on warp and then turn the way up and turn the RPM up. And this is how it sounds now. So then after that, I like to add some sort of reverb. So I just got, again, a stock reverb from Ableton. This is a hybrid reverb. Super dope because there's a lot of settings in here and you could mess with the rooms that it's in. Uh, they also have this vintage knobs and you are just messing with the decay and the wet. The final type of effect I like to add is some sort of delay. And this one's Valhalla Supermassive. 
used to be free. I think it probably still is and it's super dope. It could just completely change your melodies and make them sound a whole lot better. I just found a preset, turned the feedback down, the warp up a little bit, the mix down, changed the delay. And this is how it sounds with that delay in there. You could just hear how it completely changed that like plain boring piano to something completely unique. So here's it without all the effects and then I'll show you with it. So now with the effects. You could hear yeah, just a completely different feel and it has so much more of a specific vibe, texture, and just kind of puts you somewhere instead of just being a plain old piano. So the last thing that I would recommend doing once you create an effect chain that you like, just get them all together and then hold down shift and select from the end one to the first one. So just right click and then click group. And then after that, you could hit this little save button and it'll save it into your presets. This is really good for workflow when when you first open up a piano, you could just drag this on and always change it later, but at least you're not gonna have that stock sound that isn't very inspiring. Hopefully this video helped you out. If it did, please don't forget to hit the like button, the subscribe button, and the notification bell because it really just helps out my channel and kind of just keeps me motivated to continue making videos for you guys and sharing my knowledge. Thanks for tapping in. I'm Jay Pats. Peace.